Hey guys, welcome back for more blind let's play of Xenoblade Chronicles. Now I'm just gonna have to do the quick interlude about the last chapter about what happened back there. Yeah, so do you know what happened during the harsh combat? Yep, we have rescued Juju and saved Athorum from falling into the death trap. That is, I'm talking about the Ether River. And Zor just fell into the Ether River, but he somehow survived, so we had to kill him once and for all. And then boom, he was exploded. So everyone had to get out of the cave as quickly as they could, and then they were left unharmed. And after the conversation about the Colony 6 is back to normal, Metal Face showed up unexpectedly. And by the way, can I just call him Metal Jerk from now? Cause he's so freakishly annoying to me. After what he did to Fiora. He then brought the other Mechons with him and some of the Mechons are look like Zords. And when Metal Jerk is about to kill Shulk, Dumbin and Dixon had to pitch in and they help everyone stop those mechons. Oh, and by the way, Dumbin was healed, so he decided to catch up to them, which is a good thing. And during the battle, we had to take out all those gosh darn mechons and when Metal Jerk is about to use Light Beam to kill everyone. The mysterious man suddenly pitches in and helped everyone get rid of all those mechons. And I think that's his pet who uses Thunder to take out all those dirty robot fiends. And when Shulk is about to kill Metal Jerk, he saw another vision, and after that, Metal Jerk has escaped with the other Mechons. And speaking of, I wonder who that mysterious guy is. Eh, we'll probably find out later. And yes, we're gonna go hunt down Metal Jerk once and for all. So, yeah. Anyways, on to the next chapter. I thought it was you. Nice to see you, Dixon. It's been a while, Grandpa. One year, if my memory hasn't left me. Good to see you haven't kicked the bucket. <laughs> Put a sock in it. Wait. Dixon. Dunbar. You're the heroes who risked your lives a year ago in the battle to defend the colonies. What's a pretty young lady like you doing hanging around with this bunch of slackers? Dunban, Dixon. Thanks for helping out back there. I don't believe we did anything. He's right. Save your thanks for that giant bird. What was that thing? A Telethia. A mystical beast that protects the sleeping Bionis. Though I've never heard of one ever venturing down to where us Homs live. Strange. A Telethia? So that's what it's called. A mystical beast that protects the Bionis. So, what's your plan from here? Follow that metal-faced machine, I presume. What else? He's gonna pay for what he did to Fiora. Well then, there's only one place he'd go. Galahad Fortress in Sword Valley. A year ago, those things were building a huge fortress, right in the valley. Tactically, it's an excellent location to launch attacks from. I feel there's a strong chance they've now finished building it. That would explain why both colonies were attacked recently. Sword Valley. The very place where we made our last stand one year ago. So it's settled. Bash down a fortress and smash some metal brains. Easy rain. Chalk? There's somewhere else I need to go first. But what could be more important than... Wait. You saw another one. Saw what? What are you on about? These visions sound pretty handy. Well, out with it. What do you see? I was somewhere very high up, 
I was fighting at the peak of a huge tower, fighting Metalface. I heard a voice, and then the Monado's power was unleashed. His armor instantly gave way. The Monado doesn't work on Metalface at the moment. But if that vision comes true... A tower, huh? Doesn't give us much to go on. Can you remember anything else from your vision? I remember... a huge horn. That's it. As I fought Metalface, I could see the Bionis head. Prison Island. Prison Island? I've never been, but I've heard of a black tower at the head of the Bionis. They say it was built by the ancient High Entia race. The High Entia are real? I thought they were a myth. I wouldn't blame you, son. An ancient race living at the top of the Bionis? It does sound crazy. But Bionis is home to all kinds of different people, not just us. That includes the High Entia. The High Entia, huh? I dismiss them as folklore as well. Never assume anything. Seeing is believing, right? Have you ever met one? Well, yeah. Wow. Dixon, man, you're just full of surprises. What can I say? I'm well-traveled. <laughs> and it's all for your future. Day and night I've searched for new lands, met new cultures, and gained knowledge for our people. The life of a wandering old fool. A lonely one at that. <laughs> Stop your whining. You do it because you enjoy it. And you make a tidy profit. Who asked you, Dumban? Well then, Shulk, what's it to be? We'll head there. There are alternatives. We could abandon the colonies, find a place the Mekon will not discover and live in secret. I realized something when we were fighting Zord. Wherever we go, they'll follow. We can't run from these things. We must fight on. I see. Then I am obliged to join you. You want to come with us? Scared I'll get hurt. No way! We know you're stronger than anything. Right, Ryan? You bet! I've recovered a great deal since we last met. And that miserly old coot over there made me this. Sharp. Light. Perfect for cutting through steel. Show me a mech on and I'll slice it in two. I might not be in peak condition, but I'm useful. I can't thank you enough. We're in it together now. You can count on us, Dunban. Miserly old coot. That sword is forged from Mekon armor. It's worth every penny. So you keep saying. If you want to go to the Bionis head, you'll need a guide to get to the upper regions. We're at the bottom, so I guess the only way to go is up. Right, but we'll need to go up the lower back first. The lower back? Colony 6 is right at the top of the Bionis leg, so we'll have to head around the waist through a place called Sartol Marsh. Follow me. All right, so we are now heading, heading up to the Bionis head, which we're about to climb up. And yeah, that thing, Telexia just saved us by destroying all those Mechons. Just in time, when when that metal jerk is about to use the light beam on on everyone. So uh, yeah. Well, anyways, I think we're on a mission to climb climb to Bionis's head. Oh, and uh, by the way, I wonder who that mysterious guy is, cause. Well, you know, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Anyways. Let's just attack that. I know what kind of creature is that. But, uh, yeah. Anyways. By the way, there's one thing I like to mention. Yeah, so... Did anyone think think they should make the Xenoblade series that is 
on Let's keep on, going like on this, the TV or something, Let's keep this or or maybe maybe they should they should make a Xenoblade series. Uh, that is on the on the Netflix original series or something. Yeah, that's what my brother mentioned. But uh, yeah. Well, anyways. Enough chattering. Let's head. Let's climb up to Bionis' head, which I think we're still at the bottom and we still have a lot of climbing to do. Which is why it's called Ascending. Yeah. I think that's what it's called by climbing up. Okay. Yeah, that metal jerk really killed Fiora, and he's gonna pay for what he did. Yep, I'm gonna call him that from now. After what he did to her. Oh yeah, and speaking of, yeah, metal. We heard we heard metal face talk. All right, cause. Well, you know. Yeah, that game was released in 2012 here at North America. Well, it was originally released at 2010. That is on Japan. And by the way, did they celebrate the 10th anniversary of Xenoblade last year? Because I did not know that. But, uh, yeah. Anyways. We are heading to... Satori Marsh. Oh, wow. This place is beautiful. Ooh, look at all those trees. Yep. Does it... Yep, it kind of reminds me of watching Frozen. <sighs> yep, they're so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, they have, like, lots of icicles around the tree. And, yeah, it's literally beautiful. Much beautiful than the frozen one, I believe. Here we are at the Satoru Marsh. Yep, this place is so Freaking beautiful! I wanna. I've never seen anywhere like this. Oh, you see, carry on. this is why I've been saying you need to get out of the lab every now and then. We're aiming to get inside the Bionis. We can get to the upper regions from there. Wow, I've never thought about going inside the Bionis. The closer we get to the top, the more monster trouble we're gonna run into. The only things I venture this far in are the Nopon merchants and curious types like me. You really know all the fun spots, eh, Dixon? <laughs> you want to get to the top? Then this is the only way. We'll push on, no matter what. That's the spirit, Shulk. Okay, so where was I? Ah yes, this place is so, so freaking beautiful. I feel like I want to live here forever. But uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, we're gonna go slay some monsters here. Yep, the power of the Monado. Nice. By the way, did Choke see something during the harsh combat with with Metal Jerk? Yeah, he was at he was at the tallest tower, and then he fought him, which probably he killed him. Like I don't know, finally killed him or something. I'm not one hundred percent sure, cause. Cause I haven't, I haven't played all the way through. That's 
But uh, yeah. Okay, we're attacking Aqua Nebula. Yep, this one is really tough, all right. Okay, do I really need to cool it off? Good night! Sorry, it's my I love the way when Shara yells good night every time she uses tr tranquilizer. <laughs> Alright, I feel like I need to cool it off. Alrighty. Yep. This one is a tough day, but I'm not giving it up. Uh, okay, Ryan's in trouble. I'm, I want to help him. Don't know how much damage it takes. Okay. Whoa! It exploded. Okay. Wonder what kind of enemy is that when when it's not completely dead but exploding? Huh. What was that all about? Anyway. Please explain to me. Okay, do I necessarily have to slay all those monsters? Because I feel like I'm wasting lots of time during the recording session. Oh uh, yeah, oh yeah, by the way, playing Xenoblade Chronicles makes me feel like I want to watch some anime like, like, you know, One Piece. Hunter x Hunter and uh, hmm, Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, I want to watch them all when I have time, to be honest. Let's stay alert. Let's stay Yeah. Wait. What was? What was that thing following me? I better run away. Yeah. Did it just sensing our ether crystals or something? Hmm. Okay, moving on. Oh, what's this? Okay, what? What kind of ether? Do we have when that thing just follows me? Uh oh! Oh wow! Sorry about that, Sharla. Yeah, it doesn't affect on Sharla, but, uh, well, you know, when her weapon is overheated, it'll take take some time to pull that thing down. So, you, you gotta keep that in mind. Okay. Okay. Save us from harm. Now it's 
Come on, just I already Nebula. Oh my god. It's getting hotter. Okay, when's the another heal gonna fill up? By the way, aren't those arts kind of remind me of playing plants versus zombies? Like, once you use the plant, plant cards, it'll re regenerate sometime. Yeah, I think that's what the that's what the game goes. Oh yes, speaking of, yeah, I've been pl I played Plants vs. Zombies since I was like nine, nine years old. Like, if you know my cousin, yeah, I watch him play like Plants vs. Zombies on my laptop. Uh oh! with a shower right now. Man, what a bunch of jokers! Cool. Oh boy! Let's keep this up. Wow! When that enemy dies, it exploded just like that. All right. Well, yeah. So I guess that's the thing to those nebulas. I guess. But uh, yeah. Anyways, where was I? Ah uh, yeah. Speaking of plants versus zombies, yeah. I was, I was mentioned that. My cousin used my laptop to play that game, and uh, at first, I thought he was, uh, well, you know, taking over my laptop, but, and then I just realized that, that Plants vs. Zombies game is literally fun, like, you know. Planting the plants, killing zombies, yeah. That's a really fun game. Everyone look. It's a group of Nopon. Ah, some Nopon merchants. What do you think they're up to? They must be here for a reason. Let's go and ask them. Good idea. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, yeah, I, I first played Plants vs. Zombies since I was in China, and that game was, was literally fun, in my opinion, but uh, yeah. And by the way, I never had, like, Plants vs. Zombies 2, but uh, I don't know if I'm gonna try that, because I think they have the app. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, enough chattering about the other games. Let's... Let's... Let's just continue on with this adventure. Okay. Yep, those are no bonds. And I think they're kind of cute. <laughs> this first time you come to Satori... This place is covered in fog all year long. It best not move around at night time. Many bad things happen at night. Yep, bad things will happen at night time cuz you know, when the when the night time comes, bad guys will will like I don't know what that word. Emerge. Yeah, that's the word. It's so scary here. Detox Sprogs attacked me before and nearly gobbled me up. I don't want that to happen again. Can you kill some for me? Sure, why not? What about Bokoko? Okay, what is it? Ignaz took Bokoko's friend Ka Kacha. Oh wow, it kind of sounded like ketchup, like 
the tomato condiment. If no one saves Katja, Ignaz eat her. How worrying. Definitely ain't good. Kat Katja is a scholar who know lots about legends of this place. But Coco thinks Ignaz take Katja for information. They they know we'll eat Katja straight away, but but Coco's still worried. Yep, Siri's alright, but what could Ignaz possibly hope to learn from him? Must be about the big secret, but but Coco no 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 very much. An important secret. It sounds fascinating, but his safety is on type top priority. Ignaz took Katja to Exile Fortress. Will you save Katja? Sure. I think it's too dangerous to go in from front. So you better go in back door if you can. Oh yeah, noted that. You need to find the key to open the back door. You can count on us. You ever see Satoru glow? You know can can see in daytime, but can see at night time. Trees give a beautiful light. This place so nice. But I hate coppice quad winds. They attack me when I make camp. I wish they leave me alone. Can you kill some for me? Sure, why not? Any more? Been to Barrymore? Miss Ruggles there are so scary. They not there at night, but no plan activated in daytime, so they see us. They always attack us. Can you kill some for us? Sure. You are so kind. Now it's safe to move around in daytime. <laughs> Wonder what's so important to this nopon. Oh wow, that wolf is so fierce that I always want to fight. They even attack this camp. But Coco chase, chases them away from me. But, but, but Coco's old now. It's not easy for but Coco. Can you kill them for me? Uh, sure. No want trouble for Boko. But Coco. Alright. Yeah, so later on, there's there's the Nopon named Riki gonna join us later on. And by the way, I think I, I think I saw him when when you're playing a shulk using the final smash, Wiki will appear. He's also found in the assist trophy in Smash Brothers. So um, yeah. Anyway, should I keep going or do I have to end here? Hmm. Uh oh. Okay, okay, whatever's following me must stop. Okay, let's just attack. Attack this creature. Yeah, yeah, I wish all those enemies would stop following me. But you can tell by those open eyes, right? Okay! One down, two to go. Now, are there any more? Uh... No? Nope. Okay, here's another one! Okay, how can I make it follow me? Maybe, maybe shoot them down? Yep, using Shara is convenient when you, when you're, when you're encountering the flying enemies, like this one, for example. Okay, why am I sleeping? What kind, what kind of move was 
stat. Anyway. Yeah, when you're asleep, you can't do much. I wonder if the other games involve sleeping. Like, I know, I know in Pokemon, Pokemon can't move when they're asleep. Okay, two down, one to go. Cool. Let's keep this up. Okay, one more. I think I think I need need to be need to be close enough. Okay. Come on down. Okay. Yep, this one is easy because the blue one represents the enemy level. The enemy level is pretty much lower than our level. Okay. Yep, I think that's all of them. Okay. Anything to do? Uh oh. Better better run. I don't have time to deal with you. There's another freaky enemy here. Yep. We're going so far. longer I can get there. Uh. Okay, I feel like I need to kill one of those monsters during the off-screen mode. Oh my gosh! Now it's night time! I think. And yeah, tr trees do glow during the night time, alright? Which is so beautiful. Anyways, um... I think we're heading... Heading somewhere... We... That i never seen before? Um... Alright. Uh, uh, uh oh! Yep! Lots of enemies with with the open eyes. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, here we are. Uh, what what place is this? This lamp. It has a very strange glow. It's a remnant of the High Entia. They've hidden themselves away in the upper reaches now. But at one time, they controlled this whole area. Good for them. It's the perfect place to get some shut eye. The lamp will keep the monsters away. We'll be safe if we rest here. Alright, I'm gonna rest too.